Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. We are unboxing. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Thanks for watching everyone. Okay, I'm really excited. I have been waiting for this package and then like a bunch of stuff had to happen first before I could get to the actual unboxing video and I'm really excited. I reached out to this brand. Um, this is a sponsored, they're not paying me, but they gave me this package. So it's not, it's not a sponsored because they're gonna be giving you guys a freebie as well. So it's, you're gonna have a chance to win a freebie, I should say. So I reached out to them because I have you watch the channel for a while, you know, suddenly like wedding dresses are popping into my cart. <laughs> There's one. Um, and I have two other ones. So from the sixties and the seventies. So this is from the fifties, sixties and seventies. Now I've got wedding dresses that are just flying into my cart and they all are in need of some good old fashioned cleaning. And I've done my soak videos and you guys know I love the soak. Unfortunately, you can't do the soak video, the, the homemade soak that I have with delicate, like extremely delicate fabrics. And I would say that these wedding dresses qualify, especially this one. This, this one needs to be stabilized before I can do anything with it. But I reached out to RetroClean. So I don't know if you've heard about them. They're very popular in the quilting circles. And I came across them when I was looking to do a damask, like soak and clean an old damask tablecloth that I didn't want to put in the soak. I was afraid that, you know, it was gonna hurt it. <laughs> it's not a safe soak for like delicate, delicate fabrics. And RetroClean was nice enough to actually send me, I usually just used the, the soak that they have, but they have a wash as well. So they're going to, they sent me, and here should be the wash and the soak, and they're gonna be doing a giveaway for you guys. And we are going to do another video further down the line of this. Remember this, remember this one? She is in perfect condition as far as not needing to be stabilized on any of the seams or any of the places that you would normally see wear. She is nasty dirty, y'all. So we are going to be trying the Retro Clean on this and showing you guys how Retro Clean works. Um, but first, let's get to the unboxing because I'm really excited to see what's in here. And as you can see, I have not opened it yet. It is not opened. I'm really excited. I had a damask that I thought was ivory, turned out to be snowy white. It was incredible. Okay, so here is the retro wash laundry powder. And you can see it says, for every day in delicate washables. It really is great for delicate washables. Laundry powder that is eco-safe solution for all your laundry needs, including your delicate vintage textiles, quilts, linens, clothing, et cetera, lace, and et cetera. It's gentle, gentle cleansing action works well in all fabrics, including cotton, silks, wools, which is awesome because as you know, if you like pick up any vintage clothing and I've picked up vintage clothing in the past, there's a lot of wool, y'all. There's a lot of wool and silk blends. There's a lot of wool. And I'm like, how did they survive being covered in wool all the darn time? I, I picked up a little suit dress at one point, like a little 1940s bolero dress. It, it was wool. It was, oh, I couldn't, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> it's also a great choice for keeping cloth diapers fresh and clean when teamed up with retro clean, which is what should be in here. Ooh, there's a third thing I didn't even know about in here. So here's Retro Clean. This is what I have. I don't have the Retro Wash in my laundry room. I have the Retro Clean. And you can see the picture on the package, the before and after. Look at that. That's what happened to my damask. The tablecloth that I had done, and I wished I had done, I had done the before and after because I was stunned. I thought I had a cream damask tablecloth and it turned out to be just snow white 
and it had all napkins with it. And I was just flabbergasted by the amount of nasty that came off in the water. When we do this dress, you wait, you wait. Well, that video is gonna be good. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you're gonna to wanna to know how we're gonna do the giveaway as well. But this is the One Soak and it's History Retro Clean. Um, and it gives you the directions and it, it says it gets out water, smoke damage, mold, coffee, wine, blood, nicotine, babies, pets, gets out babies. <laughs> we all know what that means, the spit up and the Ooh, and all the gross stuff that babies do, but they're so cute. Pets and perspiration, and it will leave your fabric with renewed color and vitality. And boy, does it ever. You just need a brand new color. White. I like a smaller, this must be the giveaway. So that must be our little giveaway package. No, no, okay. So that's everything that I got. And this is a small package of the Retro Clean. This is the soak. So I'm guessing this is what our giveaway is going to be. And actually I could probably upsize it to this bad boy for you guys, because I have this package in my laundry room right now. I'll keep the little one. You get the full size one. How about we do that as our giveaway? So I'll take this one, because this should be enough plus the one I've got in there to do the three wedding dresses I have. You guys won't get to see this one right away because this has to be stabilized first. All the seams and stuff are coming out. Absolutely must be stabilized. But coming up, we will do the 1960s one. And then I did come across the 1970s one. Also needs a good bath. It is in perfect condition as far as the seams, the sewing, all that good stuff. It just needs a good cleaning and that's what we're gonna do with our retro wash so I'm going through the literature and it says it contains no dyes which is awesome for me I'm allergic to dyes and perfume so ugh. Um, no SLS I don't even know what that is but I'm sure it's bad no phosphates which is perfect I live in the country and we are on groundwater well water and I don't like putting phosphates in my grounds so that's awesome no optical brighteners. Oh, that's so wonderful. So like a lot of the things like Tide and Bluing have the optical brighteners in there where they turn the actual garment slightly blue. I don't want that. I don't want these wedding dresses to have a weird tint on them. I notice. Anyone else notice that? I do. Anyway, uh, no parabens, which is really nice. No artificial fragrances, which and it leaves no residue as, as safe for sensitive skin, which is great because I don't know who I'm selling these to. So when I clean them, I would normally use unscented products anyway, because the last thing I want to do is send out, even when I use this, if I use this on quilts or other linens, I don't want my linens to sit with perfume in my inventory because it then starts to discolor them even more and the stink. I mean, when perfumes go bad, they go bad. It's low sudsing, 100% biodegradable and highly concentrated, which is fantastic for somebody who lives on a septic. Um, it works great on all washing machines, including high efficiency and is ideal for hand washing. One pound delivers 33 full capacity loads. Holy buckets! I will be giving away the one pound retro clean one soak and it's gone. This is the product that I started out with. Like I said, I have not yet used the wash. I'm really excited to do it though. Uh, so this will be the one that I used on the damask and you that I said I got the huge results from. I mean, seriously, look at that picture. It's no lie. That picture is no joke. Details for how you can enter the drawing are gonna be in the description below or head over to my website and you'll see a post for Retro Clean. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the next video where I will be doing the Retro Wash and the Retro Clean Soak on the 1960s wedding gown. And that should be interesting. I'm excited, I have not done it yet. 
Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet gone to peonylanedesigns.com and checked out the new articles I have up there, there are articles every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes more when I feel it up to it. Click the link below so that you can be notified and click the bell icon to be notified so you don't miss us actually trying the product. And there might be a second video because when I was talking to the people at Own Retro Clean, they were saying that people have successfully used the soap to get spaghetti stains out of vintage shopware. And I said, did you say that? Because you went to my website and you know I'm the vintage Tupperware lady? They had no idea. I was like, I find vintage Tupperware all the time that needs something soaked out of it. So there may be a third video to see how that works. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.